Hello, John Bloodworth, Gentleman Crafter here again with another card layout video. This time, just a note to say how fresh and lovely you are. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to be using this layout and I'll pop that to one side and then I'll show you what I'll be using. First thing that I've chosen are these leaf dies and they go well with this set of papers by Hackney & Co from Craft Consortium. It's a new pad that I've got. I've actually got 24 new paper pads coming to me. <laughs> I found a 80% um, off sale and I went a bit crazy. So there'll be variations coming up over the next few weeks. Um, I've also got a butterfly die, some offcuts of card. I've already drawn out the banner that I'm going to stamp the sentiment onto. And then I've got a choice of glossy and textured card to work with. And the actual card that I'm going to work on is a hunky dory cardstock. These are the four papers that I've chosen to work with from the set. So well, let's get chopping. I should come up with some flashy intro banners that says, let's get shop chopping oh let's get shopping that too um anyway if you want the exact dimensions that i'm working with uh, i am working with a six by four card it seems to be my standard at the moment but for all the other dimensions do head over to my blog gentlemancrafter.com where you will find a downloadable and printable version of the card layout together with all the dimensions written on it the only thing you won't see is the teacup background paper size because that's basically the full size of the card which is six by four. You can choose to leave it out entirely or you could stamp a background, really do whatever you fancy. Mostly in this layout I'm focusing on the actual uh, pennants or the fishtail ribbons, whatever you fancy calling them. Quite excited to be almost at episode 30 of this layout series. It's going well so far. I'm more excited about lockdown ending, to be honest, but, you know, we'll take it as it comes. Anybody have their jabs yet? Let me know in the comments. Or don't, it's up to you. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention, I'm using an archival ink pad to stamp the sentiment out. Mostly because it was the sort of nicest screen that I had to work with the papers that I uh, I'm going but of course you could just stamp it in black whatever works time for a bit of die cutting first the big fern leaf or if you wanted to think of it this way uh, a giant herbal tea leaf I mean we've got the teacups going on we've got the herbs in the papers it's not a far stretch or a big jump of the imagination I mean, I'm not sure tea leaves look like that. In fact, I'm pretty certain they don't. But, eh, you know, whatever. Right, time to start putting this thing together. First, I'm chopping out the banner with the sentiment on it. And then I am going to show you that I've die cut the butterflies. And then I'm going to use some Versamagic chalk ink pads to shade the edges of the paper and also the sentiment and I'm blending off the ink with just a sponge tool. Using another Versamark, sorry Versamagic ink pad there. Uh, this one's called a hint of pesto I think and it's just basically a darker sort of sagey pesto green. I need some dibbly dabbly music, don't I? Something to go tinkly tinkly while I'm dabbing those at hyperspeed. Um, back out with the pin flare book binding glue. Uh, a lot of you have been nabbing some of this recently after seeing how it works in my videos. I'm grateful for that and I'm sure so a pin flare. But basically I find it perfect for card making and I also use it to construct my 3D paper crafts because it's quick grab doesn't warp your paper you need very little of it so a little goes a long way 
and it's just it doesn't seep through the paper either which is brilliant and it can work on glossy papers too so for anyone asking pin flare book binding glue try and get the one in the tube like you see me using or the bottle sorry um, just because it's much easier to handle than the one that's in the tub although of course you could decant that into whatever squeezy bottle you've got at home just trimming out my fish tails now in the pennants I've already stuck the big dark one on the big one that's going in the background but what I'm going to do is build up the rest freehand or freestyle or in the air whatever you want to call it because I wanted to raise that up on foam pads for a little bit of dimension so I'm just kind of winging it there by applying the glue then sticking the banner down and then because I've got a little wiggle time with the glue I can just make sure that they all are fairly straight I mean look if they're all flapping in the wind they're not going to be totally straight but we can use our imaginations and I'm not wearing my glasses so everything looks straight to me okay just the one more to go there by the way can I say thank you to anyone that's commented about loving my accent genuinely don't think of it as an accent because it's with me all the time but strange be interested to know where you're from and uh, that might give me an idea of why you think my accent's so interesting. Okay, just popping the fern leaves on and just for a little something extra I was going to use the decorative head um, pins with a little bit of the pin flare glue gel, so that's a dimensional glue. If I did this over again, I would actually probably choose the white um, decorative headed pins just purely because I think the green kind of just maybe tipped the insipidness of this over the edge and just made it sort of all green. You know what I mean. Um, but yes, I think the whites might have looked a bit more like buds or something like that. The cocktail sticks going by the way that's just to hold those in place or hold them aloft whilst I get everything stuck down and then with the butterflies I teamed up the two smallest and the two biggest stuck a couple of gems in the middle and then they're ready to go embellishments I chose this kind of deep coral color red just because it really stood out and in color theory it's a complementary colour to the green so it just kind of made everything pulled everything together in my opinion what do you think let me know in the comments below the video thanks for watching bye that's it for this time if you've enjoyed this video please remember to give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments section below and for more from me in the future, please remember to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.